In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. We gather today to celebrate the feast of Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Indeed, he was born in the year 1491, and after a great moment of conversion during a convalescence, uh, became very committed to spreading the mission of Christ. We know the consequences of it in the Jesuit order, the Society of Jesus, and we are most grateful for their ministry in the church, especially our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Let's be mindful of that today and pray for them in this Mass. Let's also be united with those who are struggling in any way because of the pandemic, especially those in the South. Our prayers very much are with them and our prayers too that we will be spared the same trauma. God is merciful, let us seek his forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who raised up Saint Ignatius, Ignatius of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of your name, grant that by his help we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth and merit to receive with him a crown in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the prophet Jeremiah. At the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, this word was addressed to Jeremiah by the Lord. The Lord says this, stand in the court of a temple of the Lord. To all the people of the towns of Judah who come to worship in the temple of the Lord, you must speak all the words I have committed, commanded you to tell, to tell them. Do not omit one syllable. Perhaps they will listen and each turn from, turn from evil way. If so, I shall relent and not bring the disaster on them which I intended for their, their misdeeds. Say to them, the Lord says this, if you will not listen to me by following my law which I put before you, by paying attention to the words of the servants, the prophets whom I send so, persist so persistently to you, without you ever listening to them, I will treat this temple as I treated Shiloh and make this city a curse for all the nations of the earth. The priests and prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah say these words in the temple of the Lord. When Jeremiah had finished saying everything that the Lord had ordered him to say to all the people, the priests and prophets seized hold of him and said, you shall die. Why have you made this prophecy in the name of the Lord? This temple will be like Shiloh, and this city will be desolate and uninhabited. And the people were all crowding round Jeremiah in the temple of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. More numerous than the hairs on my head are those who hate me without cause. Those who attack me with lies are too much for my strength. How can I restore what I have never stolen? It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that I become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my own mother's sons. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against you fall on me. This is my prayer to you, my prayer for your favour. In your great love, answer me, O God with your help that never fails. 
Alleluia, alleluia. The word of the Lord stands forever. It is a word given to you, the good news. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Coming to his hometown, Jesus taught the people in their synagogue in such a way that they were astounded and said, where did the man get this wisdom and these miraculous powers? This is the carpenter's son, surely. Is not his mother, the woman called Mary, and his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Jude, his sisters too, they are, are they not here with us? So where did the man get it all? And they would not accept him. But Jesus said to them, a prophet is only despised in his own country and in his own house. And he did not work many miracles there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Encouraging words and even imperatives that call people to some kind of action or change are often given, but they are not always accepted, as we know all too well. And the past couple of days have shown that the COVID-19 imperatives for safety have been avoided by some. And then in today's scripture, we see two different times when prophets and the prophet's message has been dismissed. In the first reading, the people of Jeremiah's time felt that they were being condemned when he preached repentance to them. His main aim was simple. He wanted to bring them back into the all-embracing love that God wanted every person to experience. But all Jeremiah experienced through his message was hostility. And Jesus, in his own hometown, was to experience not only non-acceptance of his message, but also narrow-mindedness, because all of a sudden his message was like nothing they had heard before from one of their own. When the local boy preached, they responded, not with enthusiasm or with wonder, but rather with skepticism and rejection. They would not accept him or his message. It's very much like what we do when the so-called tall poppy syndrome kicks in. We say, we know you, we know where you're from, don't get too big for your boots. And don't we use similar rationale when we say, I know where you're from, you were pretty useless as a kid, you'll never make anything of yourself. How often are we like the people of Jesus town? We are not even open to the possibility that we could be surprised by someone. Do we celebrate when we see a person changing and growing, or does it make us panic? Jesus visited his hometown and offered so much more than they could ever imagine this young man was giving. And what they did in the long run was that they closed out God's possibilities. If we live only with past impressions, like what someone was like 10 or more years ago, we will be missing out possibly on many miracles. Don't misjudge who is in your midst. God may be wanting to give you a new story and way and the most underestimated people are the ones that God often wants to use.
sisters and brothers, people who knew Jesus and his family, were amazed at his wisdom and power and found it difficult to accept him in faith. We accept him now as our Lord and Saviour. That church leaders may always speak the word of God with courage and live it with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who honour St Ignatius in a special way, the Jesuit fathers and brothers, and the members of the Ignatian Spiritual Spirituality Centre may live each day for the great to glory of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not judge by appearances, but rather with the gift of wisdom, recognise the uniqueness of every individual. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who despise members of their own family may come to accept respect and honour them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may rest in the heavenly kingdom prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are experiencing great trials through the pandemic at the moment, especially those in Victoria, will be given every strength and healing that they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Heavenly Father, we call on you with confidence to hear the prayers of your people. Be with us in our despair and let us know the power of your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these offerings we make to you as we celebrate St. Ignatius be pleasing, Lord God, and grant that the sacred mysteries which you have made the font of all holiness may sanctify us in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvellous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayer sustain us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, Saint Ignatius, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. With Ignatius and all the saints, we join our voices with theirs as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honour of Saint Ignatius, O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty without end. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.